Okay, guys. So I'm gonna be going over how to navigate your uh, MSI command center. Um, so this is the MSI Claw, as you can see. It is a very nice device. But uh, so, and I'll also show you guys the desktop view, which I'm looking at, or the desktop and the control mode and how to set up all your back buttons and everything. So, so this is the, I'm in desktop uh, mode right now. You'll definitely see the difference, so I'll show you guys. And I keep all my buttons turned off, the RGB, because it makes the battery life last about another, you know, 40 minutes, depending on your game. So to get to the command center, you can either press this, um, or you can press right there, which is the same thing. And then, you know, game library. So if you're just setting up your device, it will just have like add game, game library. And eventually if you restart it, I think you restart it, it should load all your game library from multiple platforms and everything. Um, I highly recommend lossless scaling. Also, it helps um, your MSI claw hit higher FPS. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Okay, scenario, user scenario. So I'm just gonna be going through everything. So the AI engine, this is like your performance. So super battery helps your battery. Um, balanced is like good performance yet good battery life. Kind of how like a regular PC has, you know, your power settings, right? So this is basically the same thing. Um, I use the advanced, you can turn this on or off. Um, so it, for me, it controls my audio and my performance. I don't use the lights on my device unless I'm trying to make it all look nice and pretty. Um, and then you have, so in here, if you go to advanced, you can customize everything. Um, but we'll go into that later. So that's what this does. I keep it on AI, so it'll automatically switch to like extreme performance. It basically picks what you need, right? Okay. Um, control mode. So you can do game, uh, gamepad. So you want gamepad for, um, also if you have AI, it'll automatically switch to gamepad mode. Otherwise you have to manually do it and in game that's kind of difficult. So to also access, uh, uh, use your back buttons, you have to have it set into gamepad mode. So you go like that, click here. Uh, you got your key mapping so you can, you know, change everything, what they do. Um, the sticks, you can do the dead zones and everything. Fully customize it, which is really cool. Triggers, you can change uh, what they do. You know, you can turn it down or anything. Um, if you're playing a racing game, just leave what it is. You might want to tweak it if you're playing a first person shooter. Uh, vibration. You know, I don't play with vibration, I just have it turned off in my game. So, macro. So, these are your back buttons right here. I'll just show you guys how to set this up. Um, cause I'm gonna redo all this stuff anyway, so. So, first you wanna pick which key, so whichever key you want on here. So let's say you want like your A or B button, or you want, you know, your, you know, let's say your up D-pad, so you press record. You want to do it quick because you want when you press the back button you want it to register like that quick you don't want to like a long press or anything right so like press stop there record you want some quick right then you can uh save that one and then it's not set to anything because you have to pick which one so, and they say on the back, so this one will say M2, M1. So, you have to decide which one you want to be that. 
for me, I'm gonna do M2. And then you can add another one. Uh, let's say, uh, let's just do that. See, that one's a little more. Okay, four. See, there you go, so you just have to stop. Anyway, you get the idea, you can pick whatever. Let's say, do Y button, yeah, stop, save. I'm gonna set it to M1, save. And there, you have that all figured out right there. So that's how you set it up, and you can turn it on. You can, yeah, so. As I said before, you have to have it in gamepad mode. I'm just going to switch to desktop mode real quick just to finish showing you guys. Um, news and updates, that's if you need to update anything. There's no update. You can scan, but mine should be up to date, and if it's not, I'll be updating. But, uh, so yeah, it says uh, your bias level and everything. scan all the updates and everything here but yeah uh, I didn't mean to press that okay. um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth this is how you can go through all that settings uh, and then you can go more settings so this would be your mystic lighting so set up the internet also does the same for here breathe steady color cycle info mode so switch your colors um you can do rainbow you can do slow medium fast that's very fast but yeah you can whatever you want. A lot of people keep it at just steady, but I keep it off because it kind of throws off my fo focus. So yeah, then we got, you know, all this stuff. You got uh, this one that can switch audio. I just keep it on gaming because that's all I ever use this for. Noise cancellation. Let's see, you can all this we can always cancellation uh, media and gallery that's if you take screenshots uh, battery you can do battery calibration general settings but yeah um the only settings you really need to mess with is probably your I'm in the control mode pretty often so you'll probably mess with the control mode lot um scenario i i personally recommend just doing ai engine see like i'll run a game just to show you guys w how the ai works so you'll see right here tangent game see that's ai and it'll automatically switch to it which is great that it'll automatically switch to it and then my favorite way so if you're using steam i'm just going to show you guys this but uh you do if you don't like the desktop mode in here you must view and big picture mode which is what i use the only game library i have is steam so this is what i use and it's just a lot easier to navigate all my games and everything so yeah I really like that and um yeah this this is pretty easy to navigate and everything you can do I'm not sure if it actually works with all this I think it only works because it's not actual steam they just exit big picture mode and you're back to just your main area but yeah that's how you navigate the 
MSI control center, so I don't know the actual name for it, if it has a special one, but yeah, that's how you uh, navigate it.